everyone, today I'm going to be doing an empties video and I have honestly never done one of these before. This is like the most set up one of my videos has ever been. I'm usually quite a vlogger, so me doing a sit down video like this is very rare. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm going to start doing them a little bit more though because I really do like sitting down and filming a video. I just want to get back into the world of YouTube. I've been off it for so long. I don't think I've made a vlog in, I don't even know, since probably last September, October? Maybe later? I've got no idea. But I've missed it heaps and I'm just really keen to get back into it. So this is the bag where all my empties are living. It's just a super old Napoleon Purtis bag that I've been keeping in my bathroom on like a bottom shelf. And my house is super dusty. I don't know why this house is just really dusty. So when I picked this up, I was like, <coughs> I was coughing. It's fucking disgusting. The first thing I have is pretty much like the set. It's all the same thing. They're just different brands. So I'm just going to go through them really quickly. They're all makeup removing wipes. Um, no, I've only got one packet of these. These are the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Wipes. I did not like these. They were really drying. Like, I don't feel like there was any moisture in it whatsoever. Um, the Simple Kind to Radiant Skin Wipes. I did like these. These were good. Haven't bought them again, though. I've got two packets of these Simple Kind to Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes. These are pretty good, and they're really cheap. That's why I've got two packets. <laughs> Johnson's Face Care um, Daily Essentials refreshing wipes these are good they're more expensive than say the simple ones or something I think these would usually be around seven eight dollars and the simple ones are about four five I've got the Garnier uh, skin naturals one of them can't even remember how these were to be honest I can't imagine they were fantastic otherwise I would have bought them again and the last ones I've got which I'm actually using at the moment are the Swissers aloe ones and these are also very cheap I got them from Woolies for $3.50 and I think they're always usually they're under five dollars all the time so they're awesome I've got a couple of biodermas I've got I've been sitting here with this bag on my lap and now my dress is dusty I don't know you won't be able to see it probably not but I'm so dusty. I've got a 250ml bioderma and the really small one. I don't know how many mils this one is. 100 mils, so 100 and 250. And then in my bathroom, I've got the bigger one. I'll go get it so I can show you guys. So this is baby bioderma. This is, I don't know, big sister bioderma. And this is mama bear bioderma. So quite a big difference in all the sizes. Um, I only ever buy it when it's on special because it is quite expensive. Like, I can't even think off the top of my head, but I swear this is usually around at least $30. So, definitely only buy it when it's on special, but it lasts such a long time. I've had this for probably, I don't know, a good 3-4 months, maybe even longer. So, it lasts a real long time. The next thing I have is a little Lamb Glow Mask. It's still got a little bit in it, but I've basically used it all. It's just this one, I don't even know what it's called. The Youth Mud. That's it. This is my favourite one. I've tried I've tried this one. I've tried the silver one where it like you look like a friggin' alien after you put it on. But I do like this one the best because it really does fix my pores. I have my Napoleon Purtis Autopilot. This I've had Do you guys want to know a gross story? I've had this since I had my year 10 formal, which was in 2010. So, in November of this year, I will have had this for seven years. That's why I'm throwing it out today. I then have a little Urban Decay. I cannot talk today. I have an Urban Decay de Slick Cristalli Heat Protectant Spray, which I love. My hairdresser recommended it to me. She sold it there, so I bought it, and I've bought it ever since. The Batiste Dry Shampoo. I always get the brunette. The brunette. I always get the brunette one because I have dark hair. I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Norska? Norska? I have this deodorant. Don't like it. It smells almost like baby powder. I don't know. Just I don't like the smell. Gillette Simply Venus Razors. Can't even remember how they were to be honest. They were probably shit because they were disposable ones. I've started buying like good quality razors now and don't ever buy female razors. Male razors are so much better for your skin. I then have this little Lumi Magic Base, which is oh, so much dust. 
Um, apparently it's like, what's this meant to be like? I can't even think of it. I don't know, it's a dupe for something, but I love it. It's expensive though, so I only get it when it's on special. Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation in Natural Beige. This used to be my holy grail I just dropped everything. This used to be my holy grail foundation, but I've just tried so many better things since using this, so yeah, haven't used this in ages. Got my Hourglass Primer, Mineral Veil Primer. This is amazing. I'm sure anyone who's tried this would agree with me, unless it didn't work with your skin for some reason, but for me, it works a dream. It really annoys me that it looks like there's still a lot of product left in there, but there's no way I can get it out. I've left it upside down for literally a week straight and nothing came out of it, so it's gone. And the last two things I have, this was, feels like a pretty quick video, are the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. This, it still kind of is my favourite foundation, but I'm a little bit too dark to wear this shade at the moment, and this is the darkest shade that they do. I'm pretty sure it's a darker shade, which is 310 Sun Beige, uh, but when I put it on at the moment, I just look like a ghost. So I'm wearing L'Oreal True Match at the moment. When I get back into winter, I'm definitely going to use this again, because it's amazing. They just need to have a wider shade range, I think, for sure. And that's all of my empties, guys. Um, I really need to show you the bottom of this bag because it's feral. Um, I'm going to throw it out now, along with all of my empties. But this is how dusty my bathroom is. Look at all that dust. That's bloody gross. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this super quick video. Um, this is like my little coming back into YouTube video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.